first you have to write the redox reaction for which you want to prepare the solution so here i just want to prepare the sodium thiosulfate solution in which iodine is involved so first i have to write the equation of sodium thiosulfate with iodine so here this sodium thiosulfate on reaction with iodine it forms na2s4o6 so first we have to calculate the oxid change in oxidation state for the central atom so here we are having oxidation state of sulfur is equal to 2 here in this sodium thiosulfate and here this side we are having its oxidation state is 2.5 if you are a beginner and you don't know how to calculate the oxidation state so i am just solving it for you here so here is for you just consider these subscripts for each atom so here for sodium it is 2 so 2 multiplied with oxidation state of sodium which is plus 1 plus 2 into oxidation state for sulfur we need to calculate so it is suppose i have taken it x plus here we are having for this oxygen subscript 3 so 3 into minus 2 which is the oxidation state of oxygen and this is equal to 0 because no charge on this molecule is there so on solving this equation we get x is equal to 2 so this side we are having oxidation state of sulfur is 2 and for this side we are having oxidation state is 2.5 so we need to calculate the change in oxidation state so per sulfur atom the change in oxidation state is 2.5 minus 2 is equal to 0 0.5 but in one molecule of sodium thiosulfate we are having two sulfur atoms so, but we have to calculate the change in oxidation state per formula so here in one formula of sodium thiosulfate we are having two sulfur atoms so here we need to multiply 2 into 0 0.5 which is equal to 1 so here this is the oxidation state which is changed for the sodium thiosulfate here in this equation now coming to the calculation of equivalent weight equivalent weight is equal to molecular weight divided by change in oxidation state for redox compounds or reagents the molecular weight of sodium thiosulfate is 248.2 and its change in oxidation state is 1 so in this manner we are getting its equivalent weight which is equal to the molecular weight.